I'm really thankful for everyone who's already watched the first video. So thank you to everyone who sent me a letter or a comment or a text, anything. This one's got a little bit of a different theme. We're gonna do mm -hmm. a true and false about cancer, breast cancer specifically. And this is my friend Lauren. Hi. That's the first question. Am I right? Yes. All right. True or false? What you see of the person shows how they feel about the situation. That's a false. <laughs> um, I think for me, a lot of times I'm trying to give a genuine representation of how I feel. So if someone asks me, I'll be honest, if it's not a good day or a good moment. But in general, I don't think you can see somebody laughing or having a good time that day and assuming that they don't have it in the back of their head. It's a good way to learn how to handle those feelings and turn and face the word each time they come up. How about this one? Even with surgery, chemo, radiation, and hormone blockers, breast cancer can reappear years later. That one is unfortunately true. Especially with the kind of breast cancer that I have that's HER2 positive, it's got a much higher rate of reoccurrence, especially when you get it when you're young. You're at up to 40% reoccurrence rate, even in a different part of your body. So a lot of times you won't get it again in your breasts, especially if you've had them removed. You might later get it in the most common locations are like your spine, your liver, or your brain. Definitely praying that won't happen, but it's good to keep in mind that when someone's survived or gotten through cancer, it doesn't necessarily mean that it won't come back and be part of their story again. All breast cancer is the same. That's another one that's false. Um, I kind of just mentioned again that mine is HER2 positive and not all cancers are. Um, same with what kind of hormones feed it. So like some cancers are fed by estrogen, others are fed by progesterone. Mine is not fed by progesterone. All of those different factors determine how it's treated. So I would just never want to assume that like your aunt's story is the same as your friend's or yeah. your cousin's or they're all different and that's what makes it so unpredictable and hard to get rid of <laughs> okay asking the inv individual what they want and need is helpful that one's true and this is one of the reasons why i wanted lauren in this video this is one of the things that she asked me when i was very first diagnosed like what's going to be helpful for you in this season do you want people texting you a lot and asking you about it or do you not do you want people showing up at your house or not um, and that was super helpful i think that applies to things besides cancer like um, if you have a friend that goes through a miscarriage or mm -hmm. is having trouble in their marriage or just a wide variety of things um, it's super helpful at different points to check in with them about what they need or want in that season. For all my friends who ask me, that like just helped me know that they were thinking of me and what I would need and not just assuming that they knew. Like it's a good way to open that door to conversation in every stage and not waiting until after surgery or mm -hmm. after it's gotten worse, but to open that door and be thinking about that from day one and know how you can love your friend the best. For sure. It is helpful to begin speculating about what caused someone's cancer without them asking. That's a false. And I want to focus in on the without them asking part because I think if the person wants to start speculating, maybe that's helpful and comforting for them. Um, for me, it, it wasn't and it won't be. Mostly the person probably just wants to focus on how to get better and how to go forward. Your last one? I am. Yeah. Okay. The Lord is able to work this situation for good. That's a true that I firmly believe. I was listening to a song, I think it was yesterday, where somebody questioning the Lord about a lot of different things and then in the song they say am I asking the wrong questions that really stuck with me like so often we might get stuck in why is this happening that we're not asking um, what can I do to partner with you in this situation God like how can I use it um, as something that furthers your truth about your character the Lord is good in this um, and that he's able to work it for good for now and for my future I firmly believe that one is true it got to a weird place. <laughs> Little did the people know she was here all the time. <laughs>